the nesting doll effect. Select like the dolls, those Christian dolls. Kind of, but no. The nesting doll effect is what I have coined a phenomenon that I have noticed in the world and that other people have also noticed in the world. But this is the term that I have given what I have noticed from an early age. And the more I learn, the more I see the reflection of what I learn. Some people would say it's confirmation bias, but no, but maybe that's absolutely true and maybe that's accurate. And maybe they'll discount the truth of what I've noticed, and that is that everything is connected. But not only that, everything is everything, reflected in a distinct form. Nevertheless, governed by the same normative pressures. Everything is thus the same. The range of attention is unity. Meaning, the more you recognize and register and institutionalize the unity, the sameness of everything, the more you are paying attention. The more you are present, the more you are listening, the more you are literate, the more you are aware. Because everything is connected. Everything is everything. Everything reflects everything. And internalizes everything. Everything can speak to everything. Everything is built to. As a human being, or whatever you identify as in this form, you are everything. And can read everything. You can talk to the universe, to God, gods, ancestors, spirits, beings from beyond, the nature, the trees. You can digest the unknown swiftly and normalize it quickly and gladly because you recognize it. You have already seen it and known it. Forever. You can, but how? By expanding the range of the literacy of your vessel, your corporeal form, your body. How? By expanding the literacy of your mind, body, and spirit. By understanding its reflection out in the world that is as much a part of you. The karmic law goes. You are a reflection of your environment, and your environment is a reflection of you. The mind, body, and spirit are reflected within and without. Everything is reflected within and without. You can begin to practically understand everything, with capital E, through the study of the reflections of your mind, body, spirit, out in the world, and vice versa. And so, this is why in the previous videos that I have done under this heading, the nesting doll effect, I spoke of the mind, body, spirit, and tried to relate it to the elements the mind is air, and the body is the earth, and the spirit is water, and ether as well. Water, sea, and space. So that's for the spirit. This essentially is all in the interest of trying to expand the knowledge that people have about what they can do and what they can't do in the world and in life, because as has been established already, I want to participate in freeing people from mental slavery and the break of the connection to the spirit is what is pervasive across the world and is the reason for the imbalance in the world on a global level cultures are not teaching many cultures are not teaching this connection to the spirit that allows you to have a very strong level of self-reliance and a good foundation of love to give back to the world and then collectively from the individual to the collective in a conductive way creating a more peaceful society and world which is essentially the point so this is something that is very important to me and that i I really feel like people must know how to read themselves and know that there's literacy beyond what you think there is. You can read more than a book. You can read the present, the past, and the future. These things, the holistic implications of connecting yourself to the spirit and the world. It's connecting yourself to the source of energy that is pervasive across time. The spiritual world is the, is the realm that brings meaning and significance to the life that you are leading and the body that you're in. If you don't have that awareness, you are mentally enslaved. And your decisions are made by someone who has a lot more awareness of where they are in the world and in life. It's equally important to have this, for me, this connection to the spiritual world because the erasure of this connection is also a byproduct of colonialism and so many forms of knowledge that are non-Western, so everything that is considered mystical, superstitious, blah blah blah, it's being dismissed and it's being disparaged consistently still and all in the name of science, which has essentially taken away and yeah, erased a lot of real gems and pearls of wisdom that allowed people to connect a lot more strongly to the world, a lot more independently, and yet still communally. This was just a video to kind of explain what this program that I have been kind of posting to about, posting shit on, posting shit about, anyway, it's about, yeah, to explain what it's about. I'm trying to introduce the connections between things that may not be visible or may not be, or that I feel are not spoken of enough. So I'm just trying to share what I think I know. Well, 